Welcome back. 6.50 now. It is so hard to keep it seriously. Not okay. Well, this week marks the start of our School of the Week series where we highlight a school that is making an impact on students in our community. To kick it off, a Bibb County school is the first to earn the spotlight for its new focus on agriculture. Education reporter Pepper Baker takes us inside this fall's first title holder for School of the Week. This week's School of the Week goes to Rutland High School and their middle school for that matter. Rutland is now an agriculturally focused school and here's a look inside to see what they added to it. Like when I get into high school, because they don't offer it in middle school. Michaela Leverett dreams of being a veterinarian for larger animals. Well, I'm not really like a cat person or like reptiles, and so I much rather deal with horses and cows and sheep and everything. And she's at the right school to pursue that dream. She's the president of Rutland's Future Farmers of America chapter, alongside Vice President Ariel Lawson, who showed me around the school's cow pen. And we'll go in and we'll round them all up and we'll get them into this smaller black pen. And we use it as a catch pen and there we halter them. Every day it pretty much just consists of coming out here, walking, brushing, and feeding them. Cassandra Washington, who's in charge of Bibb County Schools career programs, says an early start helps kids figure out their pathway sooner. We want kids to understand that it is multiple careers in the industry of agriculture. We don't want them to just think about farming, it's ag business, it's ag mechanics, it's so many opportunities. The program was launched at Rutland's Middle School last year. Now they have a chicken coop, goats, and landscape fixtures with plants. Assistant Principal Wendy Pooler says the program gives some students a better chance at success. Students who maybe aren't as successful in other areas thrive because they're actually caring for an animal. They're actually providing uh, sustenance for that animal. They're actually being able to be successful in an area that normally they would not have been exposed to. Agricultural lessons have also been implemented in the school zone's four elementary school science and math classes. Washington says this will better prepare the students once they get to Rutland's middle school. In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Pepper, and shout out to Rutland. Bibb County's yeah. Northeast High School also has an agricultural program that focuses more on the landscaping side of things. Now, if your school is doing something great that makes the grade for our School of the Week segment, please let us know. Send us an email at news at 13wmaz.com and make sure you title the email School of the Week nominee. We'll be right back after this. Stay with us.